Overseas tonight, a race against time to find survivors of that deadly earthquake in Italy. The first 48 hours, of course, so crucial. The death toll tonight soaring. Rescuers today finding more victims alive under the rubble. Aftershocks hitting as rescuers dig through mountains of debris. ABC's chief foreign correspondent Terry Moran with the dramatic rescue of a 10 year old girl pulled out alive. With time now working against the rescuers here, there are extraordinary moments playing out amid the ruins. A 10-year-old girl pulled from the rubble after 17 hours. Her feet appearing first, then firefighters slowly lifting her from the debris and into the arms of her rescuer. This man, stuck underneath his crumbled home for more than 24 hours, pulled to safety, his slight smile the only hint of his relief. Officials say the best chance of finding someone alive is within 48 hours of the quake, a window that is rapidly closing here. And strong aftershocks are only complicating efforts. This morning, this building, part of a school, was badly damaged, but still standing. And then this afternoon, one of the aftershocks brought it down. The picturesque town of Amatrice has been turned into a flattened moonscape. Drone footage showing a stark divide. The town's ancient buildings now in ruins, while its more modern buildings still stand. Many of those who were able to escape their homes when the quake hit are now left with nothing. And Terry Moran is with us again tonight from the quake zone. And Terry, hundreds of aftershocks since the quake. And you were telling us more aftershocks just tonight. Yes, David, all day and all night. And it's not just the danger and the fear from them. This is a mountainous area hard to get in and out of. Just a few hours ago, a few miles down this road, an aftershock brought down two houses in the road. And now this side of this town, this whole part of the disaster zone is cut off. David. All right, Terry Moran with us again tonight. You and the team stay safe.